Hey guys, Max here. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I bought my first house at 21 years old. I grew up in a house full of boys. I had three brothers. I'm number two, right in the middle. Any middle children out there with me? Anyhow, so let's just say our house was rather loud, to say the least, and rambunctious. The neighbors complained all the time, but what are you going to do with four young boys? Anyhow, I remember being a becoming a teenager. I was 12 years old, and I was converting into someone who wanted my own space. So, my mother thought it would be a good idea to change our game room, the playroom, the game room, or guest room, into my own room. I remember moving my things from my shared room with my brother into this new room that was all mine, and I can feel just how excited I was that day in moving all my things into my own space, my first ever own space at 12 years old. It was a great, great, great day. What I didn't know at that point, being 12, was that nine short years later, I would be moving into my own real home for the first time, my own big space for the first time, and that probably would have been a little too much for me to handle at 12, but at 21 I bought my first house, and these are some of the things that I'm going to encourage you guys to do, and what I did myself. The days of having to call real, real estate agents, or having to look in the paper for new home listings is gone, to say the least. There's no websites. Zillow, Trulia, I made accounts on both of these websites. I put in parameters of bedroom site, bedroom and bath, um, price range, all these different parameters. I made both of these sites. Now, I want to encourage you to use these sites. Yes, use them. Don't be like me though. I would spend truly three hours a day finding out between a about 50 mile radius around where I wanted to live and obsessing and hitting refresh button until new houses came, F5, 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 and it just became obsessive. So I want to encourage you guys to use these websites, put in the parameters, bedrooms, bath, um, price range, and use it, but only do it for a certain amount of time per day. I'd say cut off between about 30 minutes per day. I think is very sufficient. You can find plenty of homes at that point that you want to go look at, perhaps. Um, there also was, where I live, there is a local, kind of local, it's called MetroList, but a local site that had all Northern California. So I'd want you to do some research, do some research and find a local home site as well because sometimes they have more or it's easier to kind of decipher through the local ones. That's the one I actually used as well. The amount of heartbreak I went through before I found my first home was absolutely immense. It was all the romantic comedies, the heartbreaks put together times a hundred. That's how much heartbreak I experienced. And you will too, there's a fact. You are going to most likely be applying for a mortgage, which makes the process a little more long, a longer process. That's not a bad thing, but there's lots of cash investors that are looking for homes, like the one, my first home, the one that is a perfect rental property. So you're going to have your heart broken. I remember going to at least 15 different homes, open houses, drive-bys, whatever it may be, and each one I'd look and then within three days it would be sold or sale pending. And I was always so discouraged. So take heart, don't be discouraged, persevere. It will happen, but you may have to go through 15 heartbreaks before you find that winner. So persevere and keep going. It will happen. It just may take a little more time than you're expecting. Staying optimistic is key because you will be discouraged, but stay optimistic because when you sit down for the first time on your couch or your bed, put your head on the pillow for the first time in your new home, it'll feel like home sweet home and all that waiting, all that paperwork, all that mess will be all worth it. After about three or four months of doing the obsessive Zillow and listing search, the obsessive driving by homes, and it's seeming like every single home was being gobbled up within 72 hours or one week it seemed, they were all sale pending. I was being really discouraged. But eventually I walked into the home that ended up becoming my home after a few months. And I walked in and Needless to say, it needed some work. I walked in and the hardwood flooring was starting to buckle in some places. I come to, uh, I come to understand that a dog lived there and pissed all over the floor. I then walked into the kitchen and these cabinets were the ugliest brown, old, 
1970-esque cabinets you've ever seen in your life. I then thought, what else could there be? I then walk into the bathroom and I see not not like a whitish pink or red, but a hot pink tile throughout the bathroom. And then to even top it off some pastel pink paint to complement the, the hot pink tile. So I'm thinking to myself, oh goodness, what is going on here? The lady who owned the house bought it in 1960 and the house is built in 58. So it's an older home and I come to realize that, well, it makes sense when she either remodeled it or the original person who did this, it makes sense with the pink tile and the pink paint and the old cabinets. I could keep going. But the point is, um, going to go into these homes with a plan, with a vision. You can't expect them to have the beautiful granite or quartz countertops you're going to have. They're not going to have the perfect grayscale or gray tones that you want. It's simply not going to happen. You will, if it is, you're going to pay a premium for that. So when you go into some fixture upper, then have a vision, have a plan, and know that you can create that plan and go through with it because that's going to be the biggest thing. A lot of these homes are going to be average priced like mine was and you're going to have to have a vision and follow through with it or you're going to have pink paint and pink tile which unless you're you know 12 years old and love Justin Bieber you're probably not going to want that pink tile. So I had this grandiose vision, I had this great plan, I'm writing it up, already starting to really, really, really starting to invest in this house and I have the contract all drafted up, we send it out, I'm waiting for a response and I think, okay, they'll respond within, I don't know, a few days, a week maybe? Okay, so a week went by and no response. So I thought, okay, well maybe they're thinking about it. The second week goes by, I start thinking to myself, is this going to happen? After 22 days, I bit my fingernails down to a T. I'm wondering, what is going on? They finally accept the offer after three weeks. So be patient. Sometimes these things take time. Mine, that was the longest 22 days of my life. And it just was a mess. So waiting and being patient is going to be advantageous to you because things don't happen overnight, period. If they do, it's probably too good to be true. So be patient throughout the process and know that when your offers, offer is submitted that it's out of your hands. You cannot do anything anymore. Accept that you can't do anything and know that if it's going to happen, it's going to happen and it will happen. It just might take a little more time than you're expecting. Needless to say, when I received the response of yes, I was super ecstatic, super excited. It was my first home, so it's all new feelings, all new fuzzy warm feelings inside. I was super excited and it's very possible to own a home in your 20s. Uh, it, it, apparently, apparently there's a lot of thought that it's not possible, but it is, truly. You need to have stable income, a down payment, and good credit. Those are the three pillars, so until you have all three of those, don't fool yourself into thinking you can buy a home. You need those three pillars. But when you have those three pillars, it is realistic and it will happen. You stick to your plan, save money. Again, downpaymentmovement.com is going to be where it is. We're going to motivate people throughout these next 12 weeks. And I'm super, super excited to see the progress we're going to make and how much we're going to save. Our goal is $1 million. I think that's realistic. I want to make it a million and a half. I want it to be two million. I want you guys to prove me right or prove me wrong. Your decision. Downpaymentmovement.com. Sign up. Pledge your amount today. And I will see you guys on the flip side in your new home.